In this video, we are going to explain data routing in Formstack documents. So if you've ever been confused about the difference between documents and data routes, this is the video for you. Let's dive in. Okay, while I'm explaining this, we're gonna stay actually conceptual. We're not gonna dive into Formstack documents because I find that when you understand the concepts of what's going on, it's easier to actually visualize and then implement that with your with your document automation. So we're gonna stay conceptual here. We've got future videos where we're gonna actually dive into the tool. So let's start with the bread and butter of Formstack documents, which is a document. Basically you have data coming from any number of sources, Formstack forms, Airtable, uh, maybe you've got a type form or another data source, Salesforce, that is then sending that data to the document. Formstack Documents then takes that data, fills in the information, merges, makes the document, and then we've got a delivery method. So we're sending it to a recipient. So uh, that could be sending via email, that could also be putting, a, putting this file in Google Drive, Box, OneDrive, back into Salesforce, any number of places. So this is the bread and butter. This is kind of a one-to-one -one data submitted, document created, sent off to a person. What ends up happening though, is over time, you end up creating lots of documents. So you have multiple documents in your account. And so when you're setting up your automations, you're choosing which document you want to generate. Oh, this form goes to this document. This Airtable base and this button on the Airtable is going to go to this document. This form in my, in my Salesforce goes to this document. So you're choosing which document, which single document your data is flowing to and then you're setting up those recipients on the back end. But what happens if you want to generate multiple documents? Let's say someone applies for uh, applies for housing and they want to rent an apartment. And so they apply, but then you need to create uh, the application and you need to create a, a quote and a certificate. I'm making these things up, but you need to create multiple documents. You want them to fill it out once collect all the data you need and then fill out multiple documents and then, or have the multiple documents be generated automatically. And that's where data routes come is in. Basically what happens with a data route is you have data coming in. So you create your data route. You have then data coming in to the data route. And then you have a recipient or delivery methods of that data route as well. So basically it's similar to documents from data comes in, something is created, and then we deliver our new documents. That is kind of the same flow, data, creation, delivery. The difference though is with a data route, what you're saying is you're saying, hey, inside of this data route, I want to create multiple documents. So I want to create documents one, two, three, and four. And so what the data route does is it's you set this up in form stack documents. And when you're linking up your form or your data source, instead of linking it to a document, to an individual document, you'll be able to choose a data route. So you won't say uh, housing application, you'll say housing data route. And then inside of that data route, you'll have multiple documents. So what Formstack documents is actually doing is it's actually just saying, oh, I've got this data route that wants these four documents. So data comes in and then it kind of goes over and it just makes these four documents and does whatever delivery method is attached and associated with that document, and which you can kind of see, see here over on the right. But the data comes in it creates those four documents, delivers it however it, it is intended to deliver it based on how it's how the document is set up. And then once all, all of the documents have been created, then it 
finishes with the data route delivery method. What that means is you can you could combine all of those files into one document. You could uh, you could send them all the all those files off as different attachments in an email. So this delivery for the data route is delivering for all of the documents. So anything that has been generated in the entire data route will be sent through with the data route delivery. Now, another powerful thing with data routes is that you can have conditional logic on which documents are actually generated. We have an expense report data route that we've created and someone submits an expense report and we've got attachments for, uh, for our accounting team and, and different things. And there are certain situations where we don't need to generate all of the reports. We don't need to generate all of the forms for accounting because they didn't submit mileage. They only submitted receipts. And so they didn't submit mileage. And so therefore we didn't need the mileage report. And so you can use logic in, in here to create rules to only generate certain documents. And if a document isn't created, then obviously that is not going to be delivered with that data route. So the, the nuance here and the important thing to understand is there is a delivery for the whole data route where you are delivering any documents that have been generated, but you can also maintain the deliveries for the individual documents. If you didn't want to have a delivery set up, you didn't want the, the recipient or you didn't want individual files being anywhere, all you need to do is remove those delivery methods on the actual documents. And then when the data route is created, none of these documents will be individually delivered anywhere. So you can see how data routes are actually really powerful because with one form submission or, or one transmission of data, you could create, you could create 10 documents. You could create all these complex rules and deliveries and you could package the, everything up and send it off. So you can, you can really automate a lot of documents with one data submission and that can really turn your, turn your document automation into, um, put it on overdrive so that you are really optimizing your time and making things really efficient for you and your, and your customers and your team. Hopefully that explanation was helpful and you now have a better understanding of the difference between documents and data routes, when to use which, and you've seen how data routes can really help you create some powerful document automations. I know we didn't dive too much into the actual form stack side of things in this video, wanted to keep it more conceptual, high level, so you can, you can visualize what's going on in the tool. We do have some more videos planned that are gonna dive deeper into data routes and how to actually use it inside of Formstack. So more on those to come. Otherwise, thanks for watching the tutorial. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and we will see you at the next tutorial.